So uh, we have, uh, we've got a lot of gear over here on the demo pad, you might notice, and we're about to, to use some more of it. Um, so next up, we're gonna be hearing from uh, DirecTV and the AT&T Entertainment Group. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Amit Tank and Sunil Jatwani. DirecTV now on OpenStack. How cool is that? Good morning, and thank you for having us today. Uh, within entertainment, we are seeing some interesting changes in the industry. We see a, uh, the way the video is being consumed has changed dramatically in the last few years and is expected to do so going forward. Additionally, because AT&T offers several delivery avenues to deliver that video to our end customers with satellite, mobility, broadband, and over the top, our goal within, uh, within AT&T is also to make sure a consistent viewing experience across all of those delivery platforms. We see cloud as vital in the overall delivery on our business objectives. With cloud, we get the speed and the agility that the cloud offers. And at the same time, using some cloud native principles, we have pretty much decoupled product from the underlying infrastructure. A and that's something that's also the focus of our uh, SDN and NFP initiatives within the company. What this enables us to do is adapt quickly and also innovate with newer and personalized services. Of course, we have to do all that, keeping reliability and scalability at the heart of it so that we can replicate that traditional TV experience across all devices and all delivery channels. Like I mentioned, AT&T today offers video services across a variety of delivery channels with satellite, fixed IP, wireless, and over the top. The challenge that we had to face within the cloud group was to come up with a unique uh, and common entertainment-centric cloud architecture and platform that can serve the unique needs of uh, different consumer segments, if you will, across uh, each of these delivery methods. The cloud that we envision and the cloud that we have built was really built around a lot of these uh, design principles. Now, in the interest of time, I'm not going to cover each one of them, but let's just talk about a couple that I think are very important in this context. Using cloud-native and agile framework, we were able to pretty much re-architect and redevelop a lot of our entertainment workload into microservices-based uh, fr framework that we run on containers today, because that really allows us to manage our code and as well as roll out changes faster. Also. Uh, something that's at the heart of this conference, we use a lot of open source, including OpenStack, as a foundation for our cloud platform. Now, to, to go over uh, specific workloads that we are running on OpenStack, uh, I'd like to call upon Amit to walk us through the rest of the presentation. Thank you, Sunil. Very interesting indeed. So as we go through the life cycle of the content, many unique cases need, have very unique needs. The content ingest, ingestion becomes a very interesting challenge when you have to intake feeds for thousands of channels and a lot number of video on demand titles. As the content moves forward, we go to process it so that we can build meaningful business applications around that. Now, the logical block of content processing is very interesting. We chose to run that on OpenStack for very specific reasons. The encode and transcode workloads have very high uh, CPU requirements. They are very, very CPU bound. The content storage, due to sheer size, 
have that are unique needs as well. The on-premise model actually becomes very appealing there. The live and the ward workflow have high throughput and very, very uh, demanding latency response. And finally, as they get delivered at the content delivery side, they have very edge-like characteristics. So this is a very high-performance solution that's being powered by OpenStack. And we've leveraged the core principles of domain 2.0 architecture that at and has championed before. And we've been able to build on top of that. So let's look at what are some of the characteristics of this solution. We're running on Mitaka, very stable code base. And this reliability was the reason that gave us confidence to actually deliver Super Bowl earlier this year on this solution. Heat templates are used to uh, deploy live new channels, and our team loves it. Our teams leverage the CI CD to deliver workload as well as applications while taking benefit of bare metal orchestration for Ubuntu nodes. Kubernetes and Docker uh, containers are used in production at scale to deliver our microservices so that we can keep our workload very portable. Why, you may ask? That's because we love our hybrid cloud. We see a lot of value to derive from there. And OpenStack as a platform really shines well when you have to make it integrate and work with other components. So this is how the picture looks today. But what are some of the things that we are excited about future? Well, well, let's take a look. Containers on bare metal is something that we are very excited about. Uh, function as a service, when combined with serverless computing patterns, is going to become very, very potent at solving ephemeral use cases, ephemeral compute use cases that come and go in burst. And finally, we definitely see uh, more and more usage of Kubernetes in workload as well as infrastructure orchestration so that we can make our hybrid clouds more seamless. So having covered that, I think we are ready to share with you how our application looks like. So let's do that. I am going to switch to the. So this is a regular app uh, that's delivered to you in form of uh, uh, all the, the entire product. And uh, we are going to switch on to a channel uh, that is going to allow us to. There you go. Let's see if we can switch on to the audience network. OK, we have a show here. And that's going to run in for the thing. Let's see if we can see a title here. There you go. OK. To be a part of the administration to come. So now that old fart cracker. It just wants a piece of the action. I want the audience to take a moment to think about this. The frame that you're seeing on the screen is a high definition frame. And just a second ago, this frame was essentially a bunch of jumbo packets that were being encoded, packaged, switched inside a VM running on OpenStack. And seconds later, here it is being, being live for your consumption. So very, very powerful indeed. In conclusion, on behalf of all the teams at at and we really want to thank all the community members and all the contributors for making OpenStack a really, really compelling experience. Thank you so much. <laughs>